Hey, I am back from America and I've been back for a few days now and probably by the time I upload this it will probably be closer or past a week. Um, and because I know I am very slow at recording videos, I'm just going to do this on my laptop. So I'm going to sacrifice quality for quantity and actually get this out sooner. Um, so my final impressions of America, well, I really enjoyed my time there. I was going to say exhaustion just because I did so much stuff, but actually I slept pretty well <laughs> on the flight back and getting back, so I've actually felt really energised from my trip over there. So I'm going to talk about four different things. The first one is food. Since the tragic experience at Denny's actually, food got much better since then. I visited lots of the very quirky tea shops in Portland, and then the following week I went to California. And if you didn't know, California is quite well renowned for having good food. Um, so I had some excellent Vietnamese, some excellent sushi in San Francisco, um, had some nice New Indian. I experienced my first drive through as well. Um, we don't really have those in England, and certainly not ones that are exclusively drive throughs I have to say, when a wall speaks to you asking what food you want, it's quite a surreal experience. Um, so yes, and I had my first taco, or taco. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh yes, my favourite moment from the conference was I went to a science communication workshop and there were many exciting people on the panel. The most exciting was probably the founder of the Ig Nobel Prizes, Mark Abrahams. And for basically explaining my research in less than 25 words, and that is not grammatically incorrect because we're not a prescriptive language, and also using the 1000 most common words from the dictionary, I won a free book, um, which was The Thing Explainer by Randall Munro, who is actually the author of XKCD. And I have one of his other books, The What If Book, so he is highly recommended. And this was the first of many books I acquired on my trip, sadly the only one which was actually free. Um, actually no, I got a gift from my friend, but yes, the rest was a result of me ransacking the conference, because if you didn't know, books that are on exhibit actually go for very cheap prices, around $5, $10, depending on whether paperback or hardback. So of course I had to buy a load of those because pop science books, they're incredibly interesting. And then I went to Powell's, which is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, recycled bookstore. It occupies an entire block and has many floors of goodness. I mean, you can get lost in there, we didn't see enough of that bookstore and I did spend a whole day in there and acquired plenty of books from it. Um, and then in California as well, I went to another recycled bookstore. So in the end, I actually returned with over 20 books. And somehow I managed to get them all in my suitcase as well, so I didn't have to pay for special sh shipping. This was possibly aided by the fact I bought one of these um, luggage scales, so I planned everything perfectly so it would fit very well. Then, the fauna. As a biologist, of course I'm going to be interested in this. Now the most exciting fauna I saw in the wild was a pelican at Monterey. And I also saw a lot of seals. I saw seal, sorry, not seals, there were sea lions. I kept being corrected on this. Um, we heard them at San Francisco Pier 39, but then I also saw them during the day at Monterey. On top of that, I also got to go to the Oregon Zoo, and it was actually quite cold when I went to Portland, so a lot of them were off exhibit, but I still managed to see the Amur leopard, I saw the tigers, the hippopotamuses. Um, I definitely saw more animals than that, but right now those are the ones that come to mind. And I also went to the aquarium in Monterey, which I've heard great things about it and I can only say is as fantastic as anything you've heard about it. They have a huge tank where they have hammerhead sharks swimming amongst sardines, I think they were sardines. Um, they have giant tortoises, you get to see otters. My favourite exhibit was the tentacles one, which was all about jellyfish. I have to say they'd got the lighting and the displays spot on with the jellyfish. Um, I do often wonder, in general, with aquaria and zoos, sort of how much space the animals have and if their welfare is actually good. Um, I'm not an expert precisely in those two areas, so I don't want to comment either. I could be completely wrong, but I do sometimes wonder they could benefit more with more space. I know with fish people probably say, oh, they don't have much memory, but I'll just have you know that the 15 second goldfish memory thing is a lie. Um, but with the jellyfish themselves, I wasn't that worried because they don't have brains. Just saying. Um, and finally, yes, I think the flight back actually deserves its own separate shout out. Um, starting with the guy who was in the elevator going up to departures who was flicking through his dick pics on his phone 
may be wondering which one to send. Actually, this is something I would really like to know. Why do people take them? And why would you look at them in public? Because I wasn't the only person in the lift either, there were quite a few of us. Um, I knew I could definitely see them, and I'm sure I wasn't the only one. So why do people do this? I don't think you wanted me to see them anyway. Um, and on the flight back, it was I was going to say it was quite a smooth flight, but actually it wasn't. We had the worst turbulence I've ever experienced. The kind that where the seatbelt light comes on and you would actually need the seatbelt, so it would be bouncing up and down, poured water all over myself. I think people got quite scared. It's actually very hard for a plane to crash from turbulence, but it was still quite annoying and I felt a bit sick afterwards. But then I managed to sleep pretty well and then poured some yoghurt all over myself in the morning. There seems to be a trend with me pouring yoghurt over myself. It's actually not the first time it's happened. And here is the shameful blanket upon which I poured it. So overall, I think this concludes my trip to America. I had an absolutely fantastic time. Very energised to be back. I think it's been the best start to 2016 that I've had. Well, the best start to a year I've had. The only start to 2016 I will have. And I'm sure I will see you in a video very soon. Bye! <laughs>